Surprise, motherfucker! What's up? This is Vedra Satanis. It's been a long day. A uh, long week. I don't even know what this video is about. Hang on, let me try to remember. It's about... Oh, yeah. Um, so the last video was about Cinema Verite. Uh, just sort of the inherent truth of cinema and stories and the kind of stories you can tell uh, and where I was going with that in the last video was um, just kind of a day in the life reality TV kind of unscripted uh, a lot of people compared it to a sandbox and so this video is kind of a frequently asked question because I think I got the question three or four times like isn't what you're talking about the Cinema Verite isn't that just sandbox you know, uh, campaign play or play style or whatever. Uh, and no, it really isn't because with a sandbox, you're basically trying to shuttle the player characters from one point of interest to another. And oh, by the way, I'm wearing new Boba Fett t-shirts that my wife got me the other day. Uh, so yeah, you're, uh, you basically want them to go from, you know, one thing you have written up or planned out to another thing. Maybe there's, maybe you have a map and then you have a settlement and another settlement, a few days journey after like a few days journey away. And then you have like a tower and then a castle and then a dungeon and then maybe some other weird civilization towards the north. And then you present the players with all these options or the player characters. And then they go nuts and do whatever. Um, they go from one area to another. And then once they get to that area, there's, I don't know, probably plot hooks. Or maybe those were provided earlier. So the basic difference is that, so that's Sandbox. And then with the Cinema Verite, which obviously it's not cinema, so I shouldn't i shouldn't keep using that uh that name i'm thinking of other names to call that style because i don't know i don't know how named it is i don't know how not popular um i don't know how well known uh is anybody even aware of this style i mean i'm sure they are but you don't hear it talked about ever um, I was thinking about maybe calling it anti-story, but you know, I've got to think about it and, uh, see what you guys think. You guys can give me your lowdown. So like I was saying with the difference, the, this, um, cinema verite or this anti-story, uh, philosophy, or aesthetic or example of play you don't have point, points of interest and you don't have plot hooks you don't really have maybe you have some stuff prepared but you don't really have anything that the characters need to do so they're really just content uh, to wander around hang out just see what happens and that's kind of a completely different take on adventuring than um than sandbox it's still i i would say it's still an adventure it's not anti-adventure the adventure is just the the trouble or shenanigans or weird stuff you get up to when you're just kind of like hanging out and you're just kind of like wandering around and maybe you've got some mundane things kind of like seinfeld uh, I might have mentioned this in the earlier video, or I might not have. But with Seinfeld, you got a show about nothing. And that's basically what this is. The, the anti-story um, type of adventure. Or campaign. It's, although, you know, a one-shot is probably more ideally suited. Uh, it's just about nothing. Just about whatever happens. And uh, just trying to enjoy that. 
and the the truth of life. Okay, that's enough for now.